What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Smarters 4. We're going to be taking on night 3 in this video, also, or as it's known as, the bad level halfway there. So, after we do, we'll take on night 3. Well, this will be my sixth time recording it because I've been making slight miscalculations. Alright, we, and we got a cutscene. Oh, I know the destination. It is um, the scrapyard in season five, and, and from Thomas and Friends, and we got a a scrap train rising with from, with a crane. Well, just another night at the office. All right, new cameras have been added. That's one of them. What? Oh, we have an emergency alert. Hello. Uh, yeah. Alright, so much like Scruffy, the train, he will try to rush him. We have to look behind us. And, anyways, um, Indiana Dust is the voice actor for the FBI agent. Okay, gotta lock that. Okay. And like I said, this is the sixth time recording because, well, this night is this night is definitely um, this night is a little more overwhelming than night three, than night two is. Because night two took me a couple tries to beat, but I eventually beat it. It's just night three is more overwhelming because. I make more slight miscalculations. And we have the train to deal with tonight. Alright, I hope I don't make any more miscalculations because I gotta beat this night. Make sure I have that unlocked perfect. Alright, and we got Purius here. Alright, Bertram's coming up next, alright? Alright, so I've understand I've understood the patterns for Proteus and Bertram, because Proteus has always moved first. Proteus has. Always moved first. Bertram moves after him. Okay, got it. I mean with Moe you have to react quickly because you only have a certain amount of time to react. Open that. Okay, perfect. I think Scruffy's going to be coming up next or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, Proteus is here. Okay, Scruffy's up next, and I hear mumbling. Oh, I think he is. Oh, I don't think I did it in time. Okay, I did it in time. Perfect. I almost died there. Okay, perfect. I did the right one. I thought I did the wrong one by accident. Okay, the train's rising. Oh, Proteus said orange? I thought he said, I, I always thought he said yellow in this game. He says orange this time? Wow. Okay, this is the part where it gets overwhelming and stressful. Okay, ah! Uh. 
Okay, the train's rising. Got it. Okay, he's coming. Okay, we got through the overwhelming part. Perfect. Because this part gets overwhelming when we get to like 4 a.m. It's where things get intense. Okay, perfect. 5 a.m. Well, we know when it's 5 a.m. because the rooster starts crowing. Okay, got him. Oh god, the train's rising again. And they're scruffy. Okay, we've dealt with scruffy. Uh, gotta go deal with Moe. Okay, uh, perfect. Uh, he's fine, okay. Thought I heard him. Here comes the train, he's rising. He's gonna be leaving soon, so we gotta deal with him. Ha! Gotcha! Okay, this boat's overwhelming. Alright, we beat night three. Alright! <laughs> Took a, it took a couple tries to be night three, just like night two, but we beat it. Cause night three is a little was a little more overwhelming. Okay, what's next? Do we have any other missions to do? Okay, nope. Okay, we do not. We do not have a third mission for this video, but we do have a boss fight, which is ground or flight. Alright, so let's do it. Oh, we get to play a smudger in this one. Nice. Alright. The plot is, um... Okay, the plot is... Smudger is on his way to save the engines, but he is suddenly interrupted and attacked by a threatening force, so he must destroy it, of course. Okay, controls. Smudger has special powers. D is, D is forward, R is reverse, the mouse is to aim and left clicks to shoot flaming coal controls the shadow shield to defend against attacks okay um, I gotta remember the controls D and A D backwards A reverse um, mouse aim and then left click shoot controls this one oh that's Jay Ollie I know who that is Oh, I know who that is. That's the pilot for Tiger Moth. Tiger Moth is the biplane that appeared in two episodes in Thomas and Friends, and um, in the in Final Smudgers 4: End of the Line, the original game, um, Tim faced Tiger Moth, but in this one, Smudgers facing Tiger Moth. Okay, we got the shield on, which Smudger turns into Shadow Smudger. Okay, we face. Alright, so we're facing Tiger Moth. That Tiger Moth was actually the first boss fight in um, Final Fantasy Smudger's Four End of the Line. He was the first boss we faced. Oh God, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, we did it! All right, we we beat the boss on our first try. Nice. That was the same with Greg. We beat Greg on our first try. Alright, boss defeated. Alright, we have defeated Tiger Moth on the first try just like a Greg. Sarge GT, Sarge GT took like two or three tries. So let's see what we have next. Alright, so what is next is night four, which is called Almost There. Alright, so we will take we will take on night four in the next video. Thank you for watching everybody. Please hit the like button. Also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.